All right, what's going on, y'all? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So y'all know um, I don't subscribe to Game Pass. Um, I'm honestly only talking about this because I do appreciate a good finesse. I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, and it's dry out here, so I got nothing else to talk about anyway. So why the hell not? We ain't got no other gaming news going on. So uh, Microsoft announced that they are discontinuing uh, Xbox Live Gold subscriptions which xbox live gold was absolute garbage i mean when you saw like the games that you got for xbox live gold monthly oh yeah it was i don't even i don't even know what they were actually paying for that before it might have it might be the same price that they transitioned them into which i'm going to get into but the service was trash right it needed to be phased out um a while ago which they are now doing they're discontinuing xbox live gold and they're introducing xbox game pass core which is a new tier and the people who were enrolled into xbox live gold subscriptions will be you know automatically transitioned um into core um which is smart because now that will boost the game pass uh numbers uh it's similar you know playstation kind of did that um with uh that trash service what is it playstation now that nobody used they fold that into playstation plus and that boost obviously boosted their numbers. Um, so similar thing that they're doing. And um, just going to switch screens here. So this is the breakdown. This is the chart that uh, I don't even know if I, I assume Xbox made this. But um, knowing their fans, one of their fans could have made it. Who knows? Uh, but this breaks it down very clearly. The pricing, exactly what you get. And the reason why I say I appreciate a good finesse is because... So when you look at core, right? Core is 9.99, you get the you get the online multiplayer, you get and you get the deals and discounts and you get a they give you a sample. The 24 games is like a taste of uh some of the games you could get in Game Pass. So, you know, they're dangling the carrot in front of you. Very smart. Just give them a sample, give them a give them a few games to try out. Smart. Now, we don't have to look at PC because that's the if you're on PC, that's the only tear you could be in. It's PC, right? So we're really only looking at core, ultimate, and console. So console, which is literally only a dollar more, you get hundreds of of the games that are in Game Pass. Uh, you get the new day one games, which core doesn't get, and you get deals and discounts on buying things when you're uh, enrolled if you choose to buy those games or buy some content within it. And all, and all that good stuff, right, for a dollar more. Now, when you look at this between core and console, and I looked at this and we talked about it on uh, Weapon Wheel when the news broke, I, I was looking at this like, this don't, the, the core pricing doesn't make sense. And like I said, that could have been the pricing of Xbox Live Gold, I, I think it was. Um, you know, I'm not that invested into, you know, this, this Xbox ecosystem subscription service stuff, so I, did, I don't be knowing the price of shit. Um, but I assume that was the price of Xbox Live Gold before. But when you look at core and console, it's like, wait, wait, wait. The difference between me getting hundreds of games, day one games, is a dollar? That, that difference don't seem quite right. And, and with the console tear, you also don't get access to online, if I'm understanding correctly. So it's like, what? So there are clear cons to either tear. So either one of those tears, you're looking at them like, because if, if core was priced correctly, it would probably be like $7.99 or something like that. That would make more sense because, because of the difference between core and console, but it's not. They, they're priced very similarly. So the next thing you could go to is ultimate which is, you know, essentially $17 a month, right? Which you get everything, console games, PC, PC games, um, you know, online, uh, new games, new games, day one discounts, uh, deals and discounts, perks, EA play. So I was looking at this and I was like, I don't get the pricing on core and console. If, if this is the case, that you have to pay this and get this little and, and pay that and get this little, you might as well just subscribe to, oh, and then the light bulb went off and then I got it. 
That's the finesse. That's exactly the finesse. And I respect it. I absolutely respect it. This whole thing, everything you see on this chart is specifically and intentionally designed to make you subscribe to Ultimate. That's the only point of all of this. All of all core console, all they're doing is just pushing you and nudging you to subscribe to Ultimate. There is, they are sandbagging, purposely kind of sandbagging those, uh, those tears to the point, especially with the price differential, to make you say, well, I might as well just get Ultimate. This is smart. You can't be mad at it. You can only respect it. There is nothing wrong with finessing the, you know, the user base a little to get them to essentially sub subscribe up. It's like when you go to the movie theaters, um, you know, new movie, movie theater food is already like $15 for, you know, I don't know, a large soda or some shit like that. And they'd be like, hey, you can, you know, well, if you get a, you could say, you know, let's say a medium is $13. They'd be like, hey, for, for only two more dollars, you can get that large, bro. And it makes, it makes you feel like, well, I might as well get it. But the fact is you're paying $15 for a soda. So to begin with, all of that, all of that is like egregious to begin with. But, you know, from going from a medium to a large, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But overall, what you're paying is, is too much. I'm not saying you're paying too much for Xbox Game Pass. I'm just saying that's like, that's kind of like why they make the prices so designed that way. And it's, it's all to get you to go to Ultimate. And uh, I respect it. That's all I really wanted, wanted to say. I, I respect it. it, it it's, it's smart business. Um, and all of this is definitely going to work out for them. Can't hate on it, man. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Hit the, hit the sub subscription. Uh, you know, subscribe if you're, if you're not already. Uh, you know, if you subscribe to Game Pass, make sure you subscribe to me. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. All that good shit. I'll catch y'all on the next video whenever that is because it is dry out here, people. So hopefully we got some shit to talk about soon. Peace. So um, I actually realized I need, to I need to make this video go. I need to make this video 30 seconds longer, right? I had stopped the video when I was recording. I need to make it like 30 seconds longer for um, logistical and uh, monet monetization reasons. Hey, man, I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I milk YouTube. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. You know, I, I get, I get everything I can out of these videos. So uh, if I got to just, you know, bullshit another 30 seconds, um, and there we go. I'm out of here. Next video. I'll see y'all.